In this video, we're going to do some system optimization, memory, etc. So let's uh, right click on our start button and we'll go to system. Okay, and then we go to advanced system settings on the left here. Okay, and uh, you know, one thing, of course, so this is a virtual machine. You can see that the installed memory here is only 2 gigabyte because the host machine only has four, so I don't want to let that go too high. If you were dealing with a real machine and it only had two gig of RAM, um, definitely a memory upgrade would be in order. Uh, you know, make sure it's at least four for some decent performance out of your Windows 10 installation, okay? But aside from that, there are things that we can do. Let's, uh, for example, under advanced here, we're going to go into settings, okay? And we've got all these, um, you know, visual enhancements that they have turned on by default. Okay, so what you might want to do is click on adjust for best performance and then just pick the ones that are really totally useful like show thumbnails instead of icons, um, depending on your background color, use drop shadows for icons on the desktop, smooth edges of screen fonts. Okay, Mo most of the rest of these things are just more little fancy animations, right? And then we can go to the advanced tab, advanced under advanced, right? And, um, you know, depending on what your machine is being used for, background, services, or programs, you can change that. Typically, you would leave it on programs, though. And uh, your page, your virtual memory, the, the page file there, you can check that out. And see, the recommended here is, uh, you know, 2047 megabytes. But as is strange, it's always true with Microsoft though, that the actual allocated al is always less than uh, the recommended. So what you can do is uncheck the little box at the top left here, okay, and click on custom size, and go 2047 as your initial size, and then uh, maximum size the, the general advice is to have it uh, one and a half times the, the recommended size. So if I do a bit of quick math here, that would be approximately 3070, right? Then it has a little bit of room to grow if it needs to. We'll go ahead and click on set for that. And click on OK. It's going to warn you that uh, the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they take effect. All normal. You can click on OK. Depending on what you've done, your the view of everything may differ than what you were seeing before in terms of how your icons appear, etc. But click OK once again, and then you can go ahead and click on Restart Now if nothing else is running and you don't mind it restarting, or you can click on restart later and just know that the next time you boot up, everything will be cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and restart now, and uh, we'll get that extra performance. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.